There was no thunderclap or tolling of bells, just this rather low-key notification. Mr. Speaker, it is now midnight and the great government of the United States is now closed. I the shutdown is on after politicians failed to reach a deal. We can do to keep it, open. it is embarrassing that these people who are elected to represent the country are representing the Tea Party, the anarchists of the country, and the majority of the Republicans in the House are following every step of the way. This is an unnecessary blow to America. The president was clear throughout he would not accept a spending deal that carried the condition of stifling his Affordable Care Act. He signed legislation to ensure military personnel keep getting paid during a shutdown. He also gave them this message. Unfortunately, Congress has not fulfilled its responsibility. It's failed to pass a budget. And as a result, much of our government must now shut down until Congress funds it again. So what does a government shutdown look like? Well, we won't see panic and chaos on the streets of America. Tourists will be a bit put out when they find that doors to museums like the Smithsonian are locked. Attractions like Washington's monuments will also be closed, as will most of the national parks. But it's the unpaid workers who will be hit hardest, all because the decision couldn't be reached by the people who work over there. Those within Congress have been accused of behaving like children. All the political game playing and toing and froing isn't impressing the people the politicians are supposed to represent. Well, there's a lot of uh, kind of uh, childish back and forth going on, um, you know. And these are supposed to be the leaders of our country, uh, you know. Yeah, it's embarrassing. It's just kind of silly. It's it's not even real to me. My life is going to go on. As America wakes up to its first shutdown in 17 years, things won't look or feel much different. But it's the surest sign yet that the American political system is flatlining.